Awesome. So you could argue that America began in Philadelphia. This was the dream of William Penn, who the, the morning after the king announced that he was giving him the largest land grant in human history, what became known as Pennsylvania to us, he woke up and wrote his friend that this will be the seed of a nation. It will be a holy experiment. He said that the nations lack an example, a forerunner, and that was his humble prayer that this would be that. And so when he arrived in the New World two years later, he formed the city of Philadelphia. It's a big story, city of brotherly love. And for 40 years, it was a holy experiment. It is here that so much happened that changed and defined America. After William Penn's life, Philadelphia lost that particular character, but it was here that George Whitfield preached to crowds of thousands, part of preparing the colonies for the American Revolution, which would become the nation of the United States of America. It was here when that moment arrived that the, the fathers of the nation gathered and together wrote a declaration of independence. They're declaring that, that this land, you know, that this would be a place where God was welcome. And then after the Revolutionary War, when the Confederation had kind of fallen apart after a number of years, they gathered together again right in that building and they worked out over months and of prayer and discussion the Constitution of the United States, which you could say is one of God's greatest gifts to the people of the world because it established here in this place liberty as an idea that would define a nation, not ethnicity, but liberty. And even in the Declaration of Independence, it was declared that this nation would be based on this conviction that it's self-evident that God has given these gifts to all people, that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So this all happened here. How much more tonight will God use this throne of your worship and your confession and your prayer to release a shift for our nation in these perilous times. So I'm gonna pray and I wanna release this to you. Father, we thank you that you knew all our days before any of them came to be and that this day and this night was written in your heart before the world began. And so we cry out that with faith and with hope and with love and with fierce determination, we will worship you with all our hearts. We will love one another. And here tonight will be a release of an incense that will shift this city and here once again, the fate and destiny of America will be released. And we pray this in Jesus' name. I pray that you would have faith in the significance of what you're doing, not just here, but in your lives every day. In Jesus' name, amen.